Hi, congratulations on the purchase of your new stringed instrument. Today I'm going to take you through a few of the basics on how to get the instrument set up and started. For safety reasons, the instruments aren't provided with their bridge up, so I'm going to take you through the basics of what we're going to do to get that done. You have a case, no doubt, that looks like this. First step is getting it open. Inside, you'll have a bow, a protective sheet, and then the instrument itself. So we're just going to undo the straps and take it out and have a look. As you can see, the strings are loose and the bridge is folded up under the tailpiece here. First thing we're going to do is get rid of this and unwrap the bridge. Now the bridge is shaped with a higher side and a thinner side. One side will taper off a little bit more. The tapered off side needs to be facing the right hand side of the instrument. And what we're gonna do is position this under the strings. First of all, you need to loosen off the strings a little bit. The easiest thing to do is to unloosen these fine tuners. They should come like this. We wanna twist it anti-clockwise until it sits about three quarters of the way out. This should allow you enough slack to be able to bring the strings over. And now we can get the bridge into position. So, making sure that the tapered side of the bridge is facing the right hand side of the instrument, we're going to place it underneath the strings and we want to be roughly positioning it between the two notches of these F-holes here. On the bridge itself, you'll see a few little markers that indicate where the string should sit. You want to roughly position that into there and then get the bridge into position between the two little F-hole markers. If all's done well, you should have your bridge sitting in an upright position and the surface uh, should be flat on the feet to the surface of the instrument. You don't want it tilting left or right or up or down or anything. It needs to be perfectly flat and positioned between these two F-hole markers. Next step is getting the instrument tuned. Now this can be a little hard for a beginner player, so if you're not familiar with doing it or not too sure, the best course is to leave it and take it to your teacher and get them to tune it up. The tuning pegs up here need to be positioned correctly so they don't slip. So best thing is, if you can't do that or you're unsure how to do that, take it in and get your teacher to do that for you. Now your bow will need to be rosin before you can make a noise on the instrument. Rosin will be in the accessories pocket. Need to take that out. And you'll need to actually get something sharp to scratch off the surface of the rosin to start with. This will make it a lot easier to get it under the bow. So using a knife or scissors or something sharp, a key, you just want to scratch off the surface a little bit so that it's easier to get the material off. With your bow, we're going to take this little eyelet and twist it clockwise to tension up the strings. So as you can see at the moment, they're quite loose. If I pinch it, it's easily going to touch the wood. You want to tighten it up a little bit, not too much, just so it's tight enough so that with a little bit of downwards pressure, it's not easily going to touch the wood. Using your scratched up rosin, you're going to be gently moving the bow back and forward to apply the rosin to the hair. This might take a couple of minutes or so when you first start, as it is a brand new bow. If all's good, you should be able to run your finger along the bow and get a white residue coming off. That'll show that there is enough. And then the other big thing is when you make the bow touch the strings, you'll actually get a noise out of the instrument. If you don't have enough rosin, you won't be able to get that done. Biggest piece of advice I can give you is make sure you loosen this off when you put it back into the case. If you don't do so, the bow will go from having a concave shape like this to looking like a bow and arrow, and then you'll probably have to buy yourself a new bow. You take care of these instructions, your instruments should last you many years, so get out there and start playing. Thank you very much.